I'm Ron Rodos from KeyboardImprov.com, and welcome to our journey through the real book number 85. Did I get that right? 85. Dearly Beloved. Great tune. I associate it with Sonny Rollins so much, but you can do a lot of uh, different things around this tune. One thing I've been experimenting with is um, uh, harmonizing the melody, which is basically this modal section. It's D minor over G to G taking some voicings that are a little more from uh, the classical world, which might have gotten into jazz through Gil Evans, the arranger. Um, so instead of playing like just your, your typical A, B voicings, you can just shift a note around or something. You can play... Or sometimes playing the third and the fourth in the G7 chord. There's this floating field. That's very much Gil Evans. that takes you planing up and down the keyboard. Herbie Hancock got it from him. And uh, the other thing is from Gil Evans too, harmonizing each of these with a um, what is a second inversion um, triad. Over the G pedal. So see where it takes me here. Uh, it's a great tune and I think I'm gonna start it out of tempo and then Maybe it'll get into a swing tempo, or maybe it'll stay like that, I'm not sure yet.
Lots of fun to play that. Like I said before, the, the first half of the tune has this expansive modal feel where you can really try different things, and then it, it just sort of naturally settles into a uh, more of a traditional swing or bebop groove with the first and second endings. Uh, the form of this song is similar to all of me, where it's A, B, then A again, and then um, a pr B prime, or you can call it a C section at the end, however you do it. But it's basically 16 measures, and then it repeats 16 with a different, slightly different ending. Good luck with this. Um, have fun. Thanks for following me along. Let's see, the next one will be, oh, great old ballad, dedicated to you, Sammy Khan. I'll see you then. <laughs>